Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray from GrowOnYouTube.com teaching you how to be better. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing some solo hiding spots and some of the sweatiest angles in Rainbow Six Siege on the house map. So be sure to stay tuned. That's coming right up. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So we have four hiding spots and 10 sweaty dirty peaks. So be sure to watch through to the end of the video. First up is our first hiding spot and this one is in the lobby. Now this hiding spot is pretty easy to get to. All you'll need is a shield. Um, all you need to do is put your shield down and then vault over it onto this counter and this counter has some it's got some pretty good angles for you to be able to see you can see in the kitchen you can see if someone's trying to come up those stairs but to be honest i wouldn't want to focus on that those angles over there what i do is i'd focus on the pool room i'd focus on anyone coming through uh, th that window in the pool room as that will probably get you the best results and you probably want to have someone else holding out the uh, kitchen because holding two angles at the same time is very dangerous, very dangerous. So try and not do it if you've got the opportunity to. This next hiding spot was shown to me by Chester23. His, the link to his channel will be in the description below. So thanks to you, Chess. And this is the couch in master bedroom. Now using an impact grenade or a frag grenade, I believe, but I think impact grenade is probably gonna be the best, the best route for this. Um, you wanna throw that impact grenade onto the couch and you can actually climb in there and basically you want to you want to get rid of the cushions inside you don't want to like blow up the couch but you can get in there and find yourself in a pretty nice little hiding spot the thing with this is you don't want to hit the ground because if you do hit the ground then you can be easily shot from the kitchen down below as you can see in this clip you can clearly see under the ground as you know we've hit the floorboards but in this clip it is much, uh, we've done it much better, or I've done it much better, I've flung the grenade uh, high enough that we haven't actually opened up the, the bottom boards of the level. Obviously someone can still be in the kitchen and just shoot up if they know that you're there, but they generally won't until you've got a couple kills and you know they're communicating and stuff. So that is hiding spot number two. Third up, we have a hiding spot in kids bedroom but before we can get to it we'll need to beat up this octopus and deliver it some abuse you can also get rid of the globe although i don't think it's 100 percent necessary and maybe keeping the globe up there may also give you some cover and make it less obvious that you're up there but next you need to put down a shield and Put it like around here and then all you need to do is run on top of that shield to the shelf where that octopus was before and then you can go prone you can uh, crouch I, I suggest going prone and then you can basically cover all the windows in the room and the door to the room you can basically cover the whole room so if you're in kids bedroom and you're thinking you know what we're covering kids bedroom right about now uh, we've got to keep it locked down this is a pretty good position to be in because most people aren't going to expect you to be there like they ain't, they're not going to look there first they're going to look at the the places which most people usually are in uh, places which they would generally be in so that this is a, a good position to catch someone off guard but once people know that you're there <laughs> um it's pretty easy to see you up there to be honest so i wouldn't stay there if you've got another team member that can pick up your shield that would also conceal your presence if people know about this uh, spot so definitely think about that if you have a team member that can grab up your shield but that is the third hiding spot and the fourth hiding spot we've got is in the office, which is right next to the dining room. You're gonna need an impact grade for this, an impact grenade for this, but you will also need precision. <laughs> 
and you will need to be extremely careful because you need to basically throw an impact grade grenade why do i keep on saying impact grade you need to throw an impact grenade under the desk in the office to destroy the chair and all that sort of stuff under there but the desk can also be destroyed so if you throw it too high or too close to the desk then it's going to be destroyed and if you don't throw it close enough then it's not going to destroy anything so you really need to try it out a couple times uh, before you're going to get it right but when you do get it right it's pretty easy to crawl in there and uh, get a nice hiding spot i believe this is probably the best hiding spot out of all these hiding spots i've showed you in this video because it's so hard to see someone who's prone in that hiding spot because under the desk is really really dark and if you're not expecting someone to be there you're probably not going to be honed in on that area so it's going to be very easy to miss someone and very easy to get killed by someone who is under there so that is spot number four let's get on to those slimy angles now this is another angle showed to me by Chester23 and basically what you need to do is you need to create, well if you create two holes in the workshop, one in the workshop and one on the uh, wall adjacent to that, you'll actually be able to see through to the bathroom and you'll also be able to see through to master bedroom. But there is also a very very small disgusting angle that you can create that gets you a site onto kids bedroom that i'll be showing you right now it's like right here uh, you only need to make the first hole for this in the workshop and then if you come all the way over to here you'll be able to see if anyone's coming out of kids bedroom and look at that sliver look at that sliver of an angle like, no one's gonna be shooting back through there trust me so this is a pretty nice angle look at that look at that that is disgusting so yeah let's get on to the second angle now there is a great angle here on the kitchen stairs that can catch a lot of people off guard um anyone who tries to rush through those double doors are gonna get mowed down anyone who tries to make a run for the stairs or tries to make their way from the pool room to the stairs to go upstairs is gonna get mowed down this is a disgusting angle and you don't have to make the holes as big as i'm making them here i'm just making them big so you guys can see what's going on and you know i can see what's going on to be honest i know there are some people who are uh, way more accurate than me and can make do with much smaller angles and i would suggest to use an acog a acog site for these angles that i'm talking about in this video because i use the holographic site and it's not great for this sort of you know this sort of stuff that like getting these really really tight angles because you can't really see much you can't really see what's going on especially when you're picking like tight angles like this where it's hard to see anyways so i definitely suggest grabbing an acog site so you can see a little better so this angle doesn't only have view on the double doors if you make it a little bit bigger you can also see into the pool room and to be honest if you make this hole super small i don't think anyone's gonna see that unless they already know about this this uh, spot and they're expecting it they're not gonna see this coming at all because this is mad this next peak spot is in the bathroom upstairs it gives you an angle on to the pool room so definitely all you need to do is come over here make a little hole and then you'll be able to see if anyone's exiting the pool room or going into there or doing anything like that and yeah it's a pretty nice spot to be honest pretty nice but be careful of making the hole too big because if you make it big then people obviously know that you're there they'll be shooting up there so the more incognito you can make it the better but this should get you a nice few kills then we have this sweaty sweet peak spot in the laundry room right over here 
next to the two washing machines or the two dryers i'm not 100 percent sure what they actually are but if you get behind those and you go prone you can see through the slit in the middle and you can basically shoot into the room adjacent you can get anyone coming down the stairs trying to get into the laundry room and you can basically just take people out and i don't think anyone's going to be returning fire through that slit in those two washing machines but yeah you can get some nice shots into the training room and you can basically take a lot of people out we have another tight angle up in the upper hallway now this angle can allow you to get a shot on the treehouse i believe it's called the treehouse up outside and it also allows you to get a shot on two of the three windows um over there so this will allow you to take out anyone trying to rapple or anyone trying to get into the building from that position you can get rid of anyone trying to come in through the windows and that sort of stuff but it is a really really tight angle you're going to need to come really close to this bookshelf i believe it's a bookshelf or whatever kind of shelf this is and then you want to go prone you don't really want to lean or anything like that you can try and lean and see if it works for you but leaning really didn't do much for me and and then you can shoot through uh, that little gap and it may look like it's not shooting through that gap but as you can see I went over and checked and it definitely is you're definitely I, I definitely shot out the glass and you can also shoot the um, the windows and test it out yourself but yeah that is that peak spot let's get on to the next one so the next angle is in the dining room slash kitchen you actually want to be shooting from the dining room because you have pretty good cover in the dining room if you come behind these sets of drawers here but you want to open up the hole in the kitchen so you can actually shoot into the next room and this is this will be really good for you know long range weapons and i guess weapons with the acog site as i said earlier but this will allow you to get some some sweet shots off into the next room and it's going to be really really hard for anyone to return fire you could just come in the kitchen and use this to to make sure no one gets up those stairs but if you move back and you go into the dining room then you can get a pretty nice little angle from back here it's probably easier to stay in the kitchen though but this is a pretty nice angle the next spot is in the master bedroom and basically you can get on top of this wardrobe all you need to do is go into the corner on the left hand side and then keep on looking left and right while sprinting and eventually you will get up on top of this wardrobe and i have been killed by a fair amount of bastards sitting on it on top of this wardrobe because i just didn't expect it but once you get up here a good strategy is to actually look down the site the side of the wardrobe now you can obviously look on top but that leaves you very very much exposed from a variety of angles and that's just never really great so i'd suggest looking down the right hand side maybe the left hand side any side you really want to look down and just you know having one side exposed to you and not not going over kill so the next angle is on the side stairs if you make a hole right here you can find a nice lovely little angle into the room with the pool table this allows you to shoot at anyone trying to break through the windows or through those double doors over there but you don't want to make this hole too big because anyone who's chilling in that room will be able to see you and they will be able to shoot you in the face pretty easily but the people who are trying to bust in through the windows definitely have no chance they have no chance whatsoever because as soon as they bust in through those windows they're gonna get murdered so this is a great opportunity to get some nice kills and here's a bonus spot showed to me by chester 23 it's still in the living room if you make this hole as i showed you uh, just now but you make it so that you can see below um you can actually cover the whole staircase basically i wouldn't i wouldn't open up both sides to be honest because then people from either angle can get you but if you want to cover the staircase below you can do that if you want to cover the staircase above you can do that and you can do that from the living room 
the last angle I've got for you, the last sweaty, disgusting angle, and sweaty is a great uh, adjective for that because this is located in the training room or the gym. And this is basically right here, if you get prone, you can shoot through that little slip in the weights rack and you can cover the stairs basically. I wouldn't really suggest trying to cover anywhere else, but you can cover anyone who tries to run down these stairs and get to maybe the objective or get to you or anything like that. You can cover these kitchen stairs and it's pretty lovely. Before we go, I have one extra bonus angle for you guys shown to me by chess. And all you need to do is jump over here and you basically have a, a spawn kill angle. Now, I didn't want to do, um, I didn't want to put this in the rest of the video because it's about sweaty peaks and hiding spots. But I thought, you know what, we, we got the footage, might as well show you guys this, this sweaty spawn peak. I don't really condone spawn peaking, I don't really do it. But I thought, you know what, fuck it, it's a bonus, bonus clip. There you go, guys. So, thanks for watching. If you want to play Rainbow Six with me and the rest of my subs, be sure to join the Discord. Link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next Rainbow Six Siege tip video or tutorial or guide or whatever I'm going to be doing. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.